Now, what do you get when you put together the lead singer of an up and coming band mashing up one of the biggest songs of the 90s and the 80s? Well, the answer is one massive viral sensation. This is Max Kendall and his band Deco mashing up Oasis, Wonderwall and Brodsky Beat's classic Small Town Boy and the internet, well, let's put it this way, it's almost broken the internet, it loves it. Over a million views later, a Liam Gallagher repost, a message from Jimmy Somerville, airplay on Radio 2, the band have been inundated with calls from record labels and I'm sure one of the highlights, I'm joking of course, is that Max Kendall joins us live now on BBC News. Hello, welcome, my goodness. Just talk Talk us through the beginnings of this, because I believe there was a bit of a, a, a sea shanty that uh, you started off with it. And what is it about sea shanties at the moment? Yeah, I know that was that was all uh, all a bit crazy. But basically, we we all love eighties music, and uh, we're very kind of all of our music is kind of eighties anyway, eighties style. Uh, and basically, we did like an eighties kind of style sea of the sea, of the sea shanty, um, which did quite well, but not as well as this. So. Uh, yeah, I just I just fancied fancied mashing up a couple of songs and you know out, out of uh, out of curiosity to see what it sounded like and it went viral, which is just mad. It's absolutely staggering, isn't it? Because you know, ultimately, Liam Gallagher and Jimmy Somerville also enjoying your works, your art. How did it feel when you realised that they were retweeting what you'd done? Uh, yeah, it's honestly, I, I I don't even know what to say. It's probably the worst time to have an interview, but yeah, it, it was crazy. I was in the middle of a, a vocal therapy session yesterday. And I just saw uh, Liam Gallagher has shared, uh, has mentioned you on TikTok, pop up on my phone. And I was like, oh my, oh my God. Yeah, so it was just, <laughs> it's so bizarre. Like you wouldn't, we're kind of a bit overwhelmed really, as you and, can probably imagine, but yeah. And the dizzying heights of appearing on on BBC News as well, as well as of course Radio 2. I mean, it's, it's just staggering. Um, what is it about 80s music? And I've got to say, you know, I remember the 80s. You're way too young. What is it about the 80s music that's kind of captured your imagination? Uh, so I'm very lucky. I had two parents that were very into their into their music, and they had they had great taste, or they have great taste. And uh, so I was I was brought up on quite a rich music music selection, I suppose. I was you know I remember I remember sitting there um, listening to a cassette of The Police when I was about five or something. So which is probably a bit abnormal, really. Um, so yeah, I guess I got them to thank for that. Um, but also the other guys in the band, they, I think they, they're kind of similar, really. They're all into their 80s, too. So I think it's just, um, I guess it was kind of an era or, or a decade of kind of experimentation where the synths really took over things and, you know, computers. Um, so I think it was almost like possibilities were kind of more endless than they were in the 70s and 60s, I suppose. So, I mean, as much as I love those decades, um, yeah, the 80s is pretty special to us, I think. And I guess now you've got the internet as well that will magnify, amplify everything that you've done. I've got everybody, or my producer, or the gallery team, the director, they're desperate to know, will you be able to, not quite yet, but will you be able to play us out? That's putting you on the spot. Have a little think about that. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's going to happen. I, I haven't, especially I'm moving house at the minute, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> so all of my instruments are in storage because I wasn't expecting this to happen. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be singing you out. I think. That's oh probably well, well, we'll like we'll like that. So does that mean the band? How does the rest of the band feel? They're not there with you, are they? I'm assuming. No, they're not. It's obviously locked down. So um, yeah, they're 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 a bit gutted. They couldn't do it, but you know you gotta gotta stick to the rules. Of course you do, and thank you very much because that's a very important message. So just um, just a bit before before we get you to sing us out, uh, Max, how does it feel to you know just have a huge following now on social media and uh, becoming a an icon yourself? <laughs> Don't know about that, but um, yeah, I, I, do you know what? it's not settled in yet. It's been a bit of a. I feel like I haven't quite had time to really enjoy it yet, and I think the next two days that that will come. Um, but yeah. It, it feels great. You know, our, our manager has been... You know, well, listen, there's nothing like a house move to uh, keep your, your mind off of, off of uh, international stardom. So let's leave the, uh, the microphone to you, Max, and uh, we're going to enjoy hearing you sing us to the end of the programme. OK. Oh, there we go. A two-day 
it's gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you by now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do i don't believe that anybody feels the way i do about you now I see.